Well, hello. Today I thought we'd take a look at the 1977 new models. 1977 was a big year for transition. They went away from the classic red line wheels to the black wall wheels. They lost the red stripe. Like you can see on the street rider, got the red lines and no red lines. So they're the same car, they just have the uh, a wheel variation for this year. 1977, they just phased the red line out. All right, there were 12 cars for uh, 1977. Get on with the first one. And they had red lines and black walls on just about all of them. You see, they still had red line on the package yet, too. But some of the black walls did come with a red line picture. It was a big transition. So this must have been a little bit earlier package. Anyway, 12 new models. First one up is the 31 Doozy. Classic 31 Duesenberg. Oh, and there is a full lineup of cars. So you still have your Police Cruiser, Red Baron, Paddy Wagon, Porsche 917. So a new model for z waves New color for Buzz Off. There are some nice new colors for this year. We'll get to a couple of them. Backwoods Bomb is out in a new color. So the first one up, I'm just going in uh, alphabetical order. The numbering system, I'm not sure what that actually corresponds to. But yeah, red liner, black wall. 31 doozy. All right, next up, got the 56 Hightail Hauler. Notice the 1977, the only year with a roof tampo. So you won't find any red lines with the roof tampo. Lost the roof tampo shortly after that. All red lines will have a roof tempo. That's the way to tell an early one. Which later, 1978, no roof tempo. Next up is the 57 Chevy. Pop this open, take a better look. This is weird on camera. Anyway, flying colors. Simple tempo. Plastic base. I think plastic bases are a new thing. Man, you got a new thing coming. They had plastic bases for a long time. This is 1977. basic wheels. Alright, next one up we have the Fire Eater. This casting's been around for a long time. But introduced in 1977 in a red line. Just have the basic wheel versions here. See the earlier ones have a little darker red. This one's got a little bit brighter. These are all made in Hong Kong, by the way. Everything from 1977 was still in Hong Kong. That was the Fire Eater. The well, next model is the GMC Motorhome. This one came in a six pack with red lines. It was a very rare it seems to have a weird bow on the top. As the thing doesn't like to focus. Yeah, 
Palm Beach. I really like the look of this one. And I have not gotten around to getting one in the package yet. It's coming though. One at a time. This one's got a little blemish there. Other than that, pretty nice. More wheels for the money. <laughs> Alright, our next new model for this year is the Letter Getter. See, isn't that more exciting than saying mail truck? It's the Letter Getter. This one was also available with a plastic base in the next year. So 1977 has a metal base. There's also a set version with the red sidewalls on it. That's very rare. I'll take a better look. This one. So it's got the metal base in Hong Kong. It does have opening rear doors. You can open those. Nothing interesting inside, really. But yeah, you got yourself a mail truck. Letter getter. Our next new model is the Odd Rod. I like the original packaging, if you hadn't noticed. I do get them out of the package too. I can set the odd rod right there for now. Take a look at it a little closer. It's got a really weird clear front end on it. It certainly is an odd rod. Looks like these are cooling radiators. Right in front of the wheels. The motor is kind of slanted. Looks like a V8. Certainly a V8. I don't know where the other exhaust comes out, but it must be a warm ride. But yeah, uh, this is plastic. The little bucket area is metal inside where the seats are, the seat buckets. But the uh, purple plastic one is pretty rare. These are also available on red line and black wall in both colors. The next one up is Second Wind. Kind of looks like the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. Let's see if I, I guess I do have a loose one. This one's a little beat up though. You can see the uh, tampo pretty good on this. Nothing on the side. It's all on the top. It's really hard to find this car with red lines. It's also very hard to find this car without chips on it. All these are so pointy that they always have chips. Even the one inside the package here. By that back wheel, there's a little chip. Really tough to find without a chip on them. All that junk in the back, that's that's rubber band. It used to be rubber band in this cardboard. There's a whole bunch of old nasty rubber band floating in there. But still display is really nice. So that was the second wind. Okay, right, next up we have the Showhaus 2. Showhaus 2 is a uh, Mustang funny car. I was going to say just a firebird for some reason. Uh, Mustang funny car. It has an interior in it. I've got two different color versions. Um, most of the yellows came in either a lemon yellow or a standard yellow. There's a little bit of difference. The uh, regular yellow is a bit darker. The lemon yellow, you can Matter of fact, I have a difference here. This is lemon yellow on the bottom. That one's regular yellow. But yeah, it's a it's a funny car. It has an interior. There's no prop. Prop it up. I like to have a loose example. You can kind of see the uh, the 
tampons. I like to keep these in their protectors just because I, I'm clumsy. I like to drop them and break them open. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. That's what it should look like. You might see them at your yard sales and uh, yeah, they should look like this to begin with. Their name. I almost forgot. This doesn't say show hoss or top eliminator on it at all. The package one doesn't either. And red lines on this car are extremely rare and very, very valuable. So look for the red line versions. But make sure nobody popped the wheels out and put new wheels in. You can tell right there, you see the crimp that has been messed with. That's all I have to say about that. All right, the next model up is the Spoiler Sport. Some people don't like this. I think it's one of my most favorite fantasy castings. Of course, I grew up with the, within these years where I played with a lot of these. I think I had three or four of those as a kid. Different variations. Um, so 1977 has the two windows in the back. It has that little bar that splits the window. Later versions, they took that bar out. Yeah, it has a nice little sunset on it. Spoiler sport. Wedge-shaped fancy van with a big, huge spoiler on it. new model is the teetotaler in black. You know, it's funny, the prototypes are actually brown and then they put it out in black and the year after they put it out in brown. But anyway, you know, teetotaler number 39 of whatever that is. Yeah, it's got the uh, your basic express trucking company 1901 established. This is number three in the fleet. This was available in the classic machine set with the red lines on it. But it's ex extremely expensive and rare. I like those colors. That orange and the black really pops. Gold tanks. Another plastic base. Teetotaler. Our final car, number 12, is the Z Wiz. And this was available. Oh, yeah. There's the black ball. And there's the red line right here. Move it really nice and close. There you can see the red lines on it. It was still attached with the uh, original rubber band, it hasn't fallen off yet. Pretty cool. That's a really tough piece to get nowadays. Uh, the yellow again was available in bright yellow and the lemon yellow. For some reason, the yellow could be lemon yellow. So the Z Wiz is the final new model. They had a couple extra vehicles that were different colors came out with black walls. Show a couple of those. They're actually in the list back here, like low down and uh, khaki cooler. I actually didn't get the khaki cooler out because it's a 76, but I could show some 77s that came out. The Thrill Drivers Torinos came out in 1977. They're actually a new color of the Torino Stocker. These are only available in the Thrill Drivers stunt set. This 
See, these have been used. But they've been in the set video. I did the set quite a while ago. Go back in the old listings for track sets and you'll see this set and the cars launched through the loops. I can't remember if they made the loops anymore, but they did try. Probably ended up having to go with an older version of this. So you had the Thrill Driver Carinos, 1977, Blackwall only. So they were later in the year and they probably sold this set for a couple years. Another car, this is a repaint from the Turbo Blast 600 set. This was an exclusive car for that. It also came with a Z-Wiz, black wall only. It's a pretty tough car to find. Don't have a mint one yet, but maybe someday. I mean, at least I have the track set and everything to go with it. This is one of those track sets that I can't review yet. One of the pumpers doesn't work. So I kind of can't send this flying down the track for you guys. Maybe. Pretty soon. If I can find the parts. There are a couple other cool things that happened uh, this year. They had some gold cars come out. Now the top eliminator was out a little earlier. It actually had uh, an Excel logo in blue. Blackball has the AC logo on the back corner instead. But yeah, there's a few gold cars out. The top eliminator is one of them. You get the lowdown that came out. Uh, red liner Blackwall. Actually, have one of them loose somewhere too. I probably should have got that out. Uh, the Roger Dodger came out in gold also. A lot of people probably remember that. I know I remember this one pretty well. There's another one. The Buzz Off came out. It says the gold one on it. And the Buzz Off. Got a plastic base. Still opens at least. See all the little turbines in there. There are a couple other cars I can't seem to locate right now. There's a Baja Breaker came out in blue, available in both red line and, uh, and black wall. Let's see the funny money out in gray with the Brinks. Actually, here it is. I did find it. Okay, funny money is available in both red line and black wall with the Brinks. Originally it was magenta, and then way early in 72 it was gray, with a sticker on it. And a backwoods bomb, I can't seem to find either. It is listed on the back, somewhere in here. And a backwoods bomb. Let's see, number 50. Does that actually correspond? Number 50, lowdown. Oops. Number 50, low down. Huh. Maybe these are all numbered. Yeah, look at that GC penny. Alright, that was uh, pretty much a full lineup of 1977, about as full as I can get. Without having both regular and redline versions of everything to show you. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.